Hello, my name is Patrick and I'm here to show you a quick, quick tutorial on how to write documentation really simply, really simple um, with Postman. So let's say you finished doing your backend with Express Node and you just want to give it out for your front end guy to test it. Okay, so you open up Postman, which you've been hopefully using all this time. So here it is. And uh, let me just close all of this. All right. And you want to start doing it, right? So first of all, you will need an account with Postman to be able to do this. I already have one, um, but you can easily uh, log in. You should have your login information around here. All right, so let's do it like we usually do. Um, actually, Let's create a post request so I can show you all of the small intricacies. All right, uh, let's already check if it works. Ooh, access the NIVAL token or provider. All right, all right. Let's give it an, a valid token. So my backend needs an authorization token and also needs a valid token. Since I already have a collection for this, I will just go ahead and get one. Well, somewhere I have one. There we go. Should also store one here just so I don't lose it. All right. Um, going back to where we were. All right, so let's give it the token. Sends. All right. Okay. It's basically telling me I need stuff that I haven't provided. Okay. Let's open a body, raw, JSON. Uh, I'm just going to copy it over from one side to another, which is this. And I will provide it here. Let's change a bit the message. Let's say the road has a big oil spill for three weeks already. Uh, this belongs to user one, so forth. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, so we provide uh, a full object and we get an object back with the ID included. Cool, let's save this now. So it's gonna prompt us to save it somewhere. And I want to save it, I want to change the name and I want to change it to post issue because this is to add a new issue. And you want to add it to a collection. I've already created a folder, but you can easily do it here. Backend API docs, save back to backend API docs. All right, okay, so all you have to do to actually create the documentation, this is the bare minimum. Just click on publish docs. It will open up um, your favorite browser and will prompt you to publish the docs. Since I already used this once, I'm not getting prompt to actually publish it or preview it, but this is what you get. And as you can see, you have your example request. You have the body that you've put in and I've used content type, which was automatically generated. And you have also this lock thing here that tells you that this application needs an authorization method. All right, and it's completely secure. Please don't add them here. They might or might not show up um, for, uh, uh, on, the, on the documentation and well, you don't want your tokens to be out there. Okay, but as you can see, this that's not really useful. You don't tell, you're not telling what is required, what is not. Um, but I can easily change. What I like to do is I just copy this here. I come over here and add a description. So this description, you can use Markdown, and I will basically be telling what you need and what will return. So um, this endpoint will create a new post in the 
database and it will return the newly created post. Example, actually I'm just going to do the markdown. I'll show what I like to do. So what I like to do is just, okay, this is not needed. This is what is returned. Oops, this is what, what is returned. This here is a string. So I set it up. This here is a float. Same thing here, floats and URL. Oh, string, would be a string. <laughs> and down here is an integer, unsigned integer. Okay, so you save it and you have your stuff here. And if you want to make it even more beautiful, just remove this and voila. Okay, you can also add an example. This will add the example request uh, response. So it will add it as an, uh, as an example. And once you have done it, just press on the sync here. And once it's done, it's going to turn back in orange, back to orange. All right, let, let's have a look. Let's refresh this. And here you go. As you can see, you have all of the description we've put in. This is super useful for any uh, front end guy. As you can see, you can read it pretty simple. Here's the example response, the example request, and you can even change languages. If you're using Python, for example, you can go on and see how it's done with Python. And the best part about it is that, okay, let's say I'm working on a different workspace. So I'm just gonna change to another workspace. And so th this, this is me front end, this is the front end guys workspace, right? And I want to run it in Postman. I have to do is to click on run in Postman, open it up. It will prompt up for some reason it's doing this thing. Okay. All right, okay, it showed up and it automatically adds the collection to your collections and you can access everything. As you can see, you have the example as well. You have everything and you're good to go. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you have a great time.